Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you five of my favorite filters that I often use to edit my photos in Affinity Photo. All the photos that I'll be using in this video are from Asplash. If you want to download it, you know where to go. Just click on the link in the description. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump into Affinity Photo and get started. Okay, so the first filter, let's start from the most simpler filter. Okay, so you can use this filter to create a fast moving effect like this. Okay, and this filter is available in both the non-destructive form or live filter and the destructive form. Okay, so to use it, I always apply the live filter so that I can always change the value later if I want. Okay, so to use it, you can go to layer, new live filter layer, blur, and motion simpler. Then just set the radius to 100 pixel. And if you see this transparent area on both sides of the photo, just click preserve alpha to remove it like this okay after that use plus tool and make sure the foreground color is black then pan over the object to make it in focus okay and it's done you can also check out this video to see more about how to use motion blur in a video photo okay and then the next filter is erase white paper filter Okay, and just like it's called, you can use this filter to remove any white color in your photo. Okay, to use it, go to filters, colors, and erase white paper. And just like that, the white paper in this photo is removed. As you can see, okay, but this filter is not available in the non-destructive form or live filter. So, a little tips for you, if you want to use this filter, Okay, I suggest you to duplicate the layer first and if by some mistake when you use this filter and some of the important area is being removed just like this you can always bring back the details okay so as you can see this part is being removed as well so you can use the duplicate layer and then mask it and click ctrl i to invert and make sure the foreground color is white and then just pan over the area to bring back some of the details okay like that or you can use select sample color to select the color in the photo okay and then next we have high pass you can use this filter to sharpen any blur photo and it's also available in both non-destructive form or live filter and the destructive form okay so to use it just go to layer new live filter layer sharpen and high pass and then just drag the radius until you see the details of the object okay like this make it higher after that change the blend mode from normal to linear line and then because i only want to apply the high pass to the blur object so i will import it first and use brush tool to pan over the object Okay, you can take a look at the before and after now the object is become more sharpened okay you can also check out this video to see more about how to use high pass filter okay after that we have dust and stretches filter okay you can use this filter to remove any dust dirt, or scratches from your photo so let's say that if you forgot to clean your camera sensor or lens and then you went outside to take some photo and when you got home you see some dirt or dust in your photo so it's super easy to remove it you can just go to layer new live filter layer noise dust and scratches so there are two sliders right here okay first you will have to drag the radius until you see all of the dust is being removed but the photo become blur so you need to drag the tolerance just a little bit to make it in focus again or to bring back the details just like that okay so just like that all of the dust and scratches is being removed from this photo as you can see it's super powerful feature okay and another case so i'll use this photo as an example and apply it okay and sometimes it's harder to remove the dust in some photo so i will show you another example even though i 
set the balance between these two it's super hard to find the balance so instead of like that you can just drag the radius to somewhere around 100 or 90 and then just like we did with the high pass i will invert the dust and scratches filter and use brush tool and delete the dust little by little And lastly, the most favorite filter that I often use is lighting filter. So you can use this filter to create a 3D light in your photo to get a cinematic look like this. Okay, so there are three different types of light that you can choose. This is spotlight and this is point light. Then this is directional light. Okay, and as you can see, there are a lot of different settings that you can adjust as well. Okay, so I will show you how I use it to make this photo look cinematic. Okay, so take a look at the before and after. Now this photo looks so much dramatic. And here are some before and after as well that you can see. Okay, so as you can see, this lighting filter is super powerful and useful. I really like it. Okay, you can also check out this video to see more about how to use this lighting filter. Okay, so that was my 5 favorite filters that I often use to edit my photos in Affinity Photo. And as you know, there are still a lot of cool filters in Affinity Photo. So maybe I'll make the part 2 video in the future. Okay, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoy and learn something new from this video. Hit the like button if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you have already. And I will see you guys in the next video.